Right, and a good example of an amortized loan would be uh, commercial loans, yeah? like for example, car loans or uh, housing loan. Yeah? These are all usually amortized loans. Yeah? So these are uh, the example. Right, let's look at uh, another additional question. Yeah? Okay, yeah, now I would like you to explore, okay, try this at home. Explore a $10,000 five-year loan at 4% interest if it is, okay, first, a pure discount loan. Second, if it is an interest-only loan. Third, if it is a fixed principal repayment loan. And four, if it is a fixed payment loan, yeah. And uh, explore the structure of the loan, meaning the cash flows of the loan. And show that the present value of all these loans at 4% discount rate must be 10000 which is equal to the uh, value of the loan now. Yeah? So this is what we are going to uh, do next, yeah? very briefly. Alright, let's look at a pure discount loan. Yeah? So remember, the loan amount is 10000 the term is 5 years, then the interest rate is 4%. Yeah? Now the repayment, how much do you need to repay at the end? You can actually compute using the future value, yeah? future value formula. Future value of 10,000 at the interest rate of 4% in over 5 years. Yeah? So it's equal to 10,000 multiplied by 1 plus 4% raised to the power of 5. You get exactly this answer, yeah? $12,166.53, yeah? Alright, so the idea behind this is, okay, you get $10,000 now, okay, and end of first year, there's no cash flow, end of second year, no cash flow, third year, no cash flow, fourth year, no cash flow, and the fifth year, you pay the full amount, yeah, which is $12,166.53. Okay, this is called a pure discount loan because there is no yeah, interest payment anywhere yeah, uh, during the term of the loan. Alright, how does this work? Yeah, let's look at the structure in more detail. Yeah? So you obtain this uh, loan receipt now, but then your loan balance, yeah, the beginning yeah, will be 10,000. This at time zero, yeah, your loan balance will be 10,000. You pay 4% interest. So the first year, the interest will be 400. Yeah? This is the interest incurred. Okay, there is interest yeah, because there is an interest rate, but this interest is not paid, no payment. Is that okay? Because this is a uh, pure discount loan, okay, therefore there is no interest payment. You incur the interest, but there is no payment of interest. Yeah? And therefore, the next year, so what happens? You incur this interest. This interest is added to your principal. Yeah? So 10,000, the be, uh, beginning balance here, yeah? uh, previously, or the beginning balance here, plus this 400, your ending balance for the end of the first year will be 10,400. Now, for a second year, yeah, because your principal becomes greater, the amount that you owe becomes greater, your interest also grows uh, greater, yeah, it grow, uh, grows up, yeah, it grows up. So, 4% multiplied by 10,400, you get 416, yeah, so that's how you do this, yeah. The next year, it will be 432 because the amount increases, yeah. So the second year, let's look at this, this is 10,400 from here, this is the balance, yeah, your loan uh value goes up because you have not paid the interest here. Yeah? So then you add another interest for the second year, you incur this much of interest, the interest increases over time. Yeah, Note this, yeah? it increases over time. This, therefore your uh, ending balance becomes greater. This plus this, yeah? $10,400 plus $416, you get $10,816. So that's how it goes, goes, and then finally, okay, here you will have this much of balance from here. Okay, the final year, yeah. I skip this these two, these two years, three and four, you can try on your own, yeah. In the fifth year, you have this much, yeah? end of year four, you have this much of loan balance now. It has grown from ten thousand to eleven thousand six hundred and ninety-eight point five nine. Alright, then you incur interest, yeah. This is four percent multiplied by this value outstanding for the final year, yeah, fifth year, yeah, this much is outstanding, so you incur interest of 467.94 plus the uh, beginning balance, yeah, so your ending balance will be 12,166.53, yeah, but this you pay off, yeah, so what you owe and what you pay off at the end is the same, therefore your loan balance becomes zero, yeah, at the end, yeah. 
because that's the amount that you pay. All right. So this is the structure of a pure discount loan. Yeah. This is the structure of a pure discount loan. Uh, I hope this is clear. Yeah. And if you want to compute the present value, you can take the present value of this now. Okay. Add with uh, this. Okay. The present value of this value now will be ten thousand. Yeah. How do you uh, show that? This is twelve thousand one hundred sixty-six. Ignore the negative. 0.53, you discount this at 4% over 5 years. It will be exactly 10,000. Alright, now let's go to the second type of loan, interest only loan. Yeah? The same amount of loan, the same uh, parameters of the loan, yeah? but then the loan is structured in interest only loan rather than pure discount loan. What happens? Let's look at this now. Yeah? Okay, here you have uh, the starting balance, you borrow 10,000 now, but every year you pay interest 400 yeah know the difference here yeah the, here the interest is incurred but it's not paid here the interest is incurred okay 400 but the interest is paid okay therefore the loan balance will remain the same yeah 10000 it doesn't go up every time is 10000 is that okay every time is 10000 yeah the interest uh, the principal amount doesn't go up because the interest incurred is always paid yeah 400 is incurred, 400 is paid. Therefore, the loan balance be, uh, remains the same. Here, the loan balance goes up. Note this. Yeah? And finally, it goes down when it is paid for pure discount loan. Yeah? Here, also, it goes down okay, only when the principal is paid at the end. Yeah? There is payment. These are the payments. Yeah? You pay interest every year, 400, which is 4% multiplied by $10,000 $10, loan, 400. And at the end, you pay the principal amount, the loan. Yeah, you repay the loan, ten thousand. Yeah, all right. So this will be your cash flow in a interest-only loan. Yeah, so you have interest only during the term. Okay, initially you get ten thousand. At the end, you pay ten thousand and four hundred, yeah? including the four hundred interest for the final year. All right. So you can show that the present value of all this. Okay, the present value of all this at four uh, percent will always be 10,000. Yeah, it cannot be any different. Okay, that is the second type of loan. Yeah? Now, let's go to the third type of loan. Now, a fixed principal repayment. Okay, fixed principal repayment. Yeah? So, you will start with 10,000. It's over five years. Therefore, every year, the principal paid will be 2,000. Know that, yeah? It's 2,000. Every year, you pay $2,000 uh, uh, principal, yeah? Now the interest incurred will be the same. Yeah, every year the first year, okay, the four hundred. Yeah, this four hundred is four percent multiplied by ten thousand. The loan balance. Yeah, so it'll be four hundred incurred, but you pay four hundred for the first year. But then your loan balance now. This is what you incur. Therefore, ten thousand plus four hundred. You owe ten thousand four hundred, but you pay four thousand four hundred for the interest, and you pay two thousand for the principal. Therefore. Your loan balance will be this plus this minus this minus this. Therefore, you get 8,000. Alright. For the second year, I'm not going to go through all, yeah, but I'll go to second year and the final year. <coughs> the rest you can try on your own. Yeah? Now, second year, because this is the ending balance for the first year, the beginning balance for the second year will be the same as this. Yeah? 8,000. 8, you incur interest of 4% from 8,000. Therefore, it is $320. This is what you incur, yeah? And you pay that much, okay? And you also pay the principal of 2,000. Therefore, 8,000 plus 320 minus 320 minus 2,000, you have 6,000. Your principal balance, your loan balance becomes 6,000 at the end of the second year. And so on, yeah? And finally, you have two thousand. Okay, you incur interest of eighty ringgit, eighty dollars. Sorry, that is four percent multiplied by two thousand. Yeah, therefore, you have uh, eighty dollars. Uh, you pay the eighty dollars, and you also pay the final uh, principal amount, two thousand. So this is two thousand plus eighty minus this eighty. Okay, this is what you incur. You pay that interest. Then you pay the principal, therefore your loan balance becomes zero. Yeah? 
So in total, the first year you pay 2,400, which is this plus this. Second year you pay 2,320, which is this plus this, and so on. Yeah. Now note that the uh, amount that you actually pay becomes lower over time. Okay. Your principal is fixed. Okay. Principal amount that you repay, but the interest amount becomes lower over time. Yeah. Because the uh, ending balance becomes lower. Yeah. And therefore, this is the cash flow. Okay, this is the cash flow that you pay. This is what you receive. And the present value of what you pay, okay, at four percent is the same as what you receive. Yeah, you can compute this. Yeah, for example, two thousand four hundred divided by one point zero four. This is two thousand three hundred and twenty divided by one point zero four raised to the power of two, and so on. When you add all of them, you get exactly ten thousand. Is that okay? So that is a uh, fixed principal repayment. Yeah. Now fix a uh, total payment of the loan. Yeah. Now the loan balance. I mean the loan amount is the same. The term is the same. The interest rate is the same. Yeah. Now you need to work out the payment. Okay. Because the payment is fixed. Okay. We use the uh, payment formula for NUT. Yeah. You solve for payment. We can use the formula here. This yeah, ten thousand multiplied by four percent divided by one minus one plus four percent raised to the power of negative five. Yeah, and you get this value. Yeah, that means each year you must pay two thousand two hundred and forty six point two seven. Okay, so this is the payment. Yeah, this is the NVT payment that you need to make. So you put that in here, the total payment yeah, that you make every year is the same. Okay, it's higher than this. Yeah, because it has. Uh, both interest as well as principal payment. Here it's only principal, yeah? therefore it's 2000. Okay, it does not include interest. Here it includes interest, therefore the payment is higher yeah? over time. Right, now it works in the same way. Yeah? The first year the interest incurred is 4, 400, okay, which is 4% multiplied by 10,400. You pay that 400, yeah? interest paid is 400. Yeah? Uh, because the interest will be paid from the total payment. So 400 will be paid. The remainder will go towards paying the principal. How do you get this value? It is actually 2,246 minus 400. So this will be the principal paid for the first year. Okay, for the second year, what happens? The principal, yeah, the ending balance becomes lower. How does this become lower? It is 10,000 minus, yeah, sorry, the principal amount here, minus. 1846.27, you get 8153.73. Yeah, so this is your ending balance at the end of the first year. So for a second year, the interest incurred will be 4% from this, and therefore it will be equal to 326.15. You pay that amount. Yeah? This amount is paid from the total payment. So the remainder will be going towards reducing the principal amount. Yeah. So your principal amount becomes lower. This minus this will be this value, and so on. Yeah, and if you go on doing that until the end, you get zero balance. Yeah. So here also you get zero balance. Here also you get zero balance. Yeah. But the structure of payment is slightly different. Here the total payment is fixed. Here only the principal payment is fixed. Yeah. The interest payment becomes different. Yeah. Every year. Therefore, your total payment will become different every year. Yeah? It will be higher in the beginning and lower at the end. Here, it will be the same throughout. Yeah? That is why this uh, is a popular yeah? amortization loan. This is more popular than this. Is that okay? So, if you take the present value of all these payments, okay, at 4%, you get the same answer. Yeah? Surprise, surprise. Yeah? It will be 10,000. Be equal to what you receive now. Is that okay? And this is the same here as well. Yeah, the amounts are different. Different years, different amounts here. Different amounts here. These are the same amounts every year, but it's different from here. But the present value of all this is the same. Yeah, same value for both. Okay, so uh, these are the uh, you know you can have the same loan principles, but then they can be structured differently. Yeah, because they are different types of loans. Is that okay? Alright, with that we finish this part. Okay, let's go back to the slides now. Yeah.